so uh, that was the first question was regarding a blog post I put out uh, just yesterday uh, was regarding um, uh, getting Dart going to reset um, the username and password and to give you some context I can go ahead and switch over to my demo there and uh, that's not that one but this post here the ability to reset the Windows admin password using Dart. So Dart, for those of you who haven't stumbled across it earlier, is part of the Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack. It's been available for many, many years. The latest version is actually 2015. So it has been around for a long time, but it still works. It still works in Windows 10. Uh, when you work with Dart, you have the option of, once you boot up a machine, you have the option to do some uh, diagnostic of that tool. It's there to basically diagnose and repair uh, Windows, typically a Windows machine that doesn't start very well or is not happy to start. But one tool that it does allow you to do is to reset the local admin password. So to install Dart is fairly straightforward. Um, I recommend that you find a machine of the same version of Windows that you're planning on working with, uh, especially when pointing Dart to where to get the, the, the media, etc. So what I have here that I was using when I was uh, playing around with the blog post or writing the blog post, let's see where I put that one, it was this machine here. So this is a regular Windows machine. I simply installed Dart from the ISO directly, so in the um, MDOP media that you download. 2015 media. If you check in that folder structure, what you get is Dart, you have Dart 10, you have installers, you have the language. So I simply installed the uh, Dart MSI on an existing Windows machine. And when you do that, when you run through that installer, you get on the start menu, you get a few different tools. You have the remote connection viewer that you use for imaging and troubleshooting that, but you also have the dot recover image wizard. So when you run this wizard, it's going to ask you to provide uh, a media, and that should be the Windows 10 version you are about to recover. Often it will work with uh, like you can use a 21H2 to recover a 20H2, but to make sure in this case, I just want to make sure it was the same version of Windows. So what I mounted here to do this, run this wizard, I simply mounted, because I was troubleshooting a Windows 10 21H, sorry, 20H2. So I used that media. So I mounted that media now onto my server. So that will be the, the D drive is my Windows 10 ISO. So I continue with this one. I select the 64-bit one and I specify a folder to which where I have my Windows 10 installation media. And then I simply go ahead and click Next. Uh, I tell it what option I want to have available in a recovery image. In this case, I selected everything. And then if I should allow remote connections, etc. yes or no. And then uh, add in additional drivers. Uh, you can also add in additional uh, files to WinP, additional components. But in this case, I didn't add any. And then it just creates an ISO file, in this case, on my desktop. So it also creates a PowerShell script that I can use to rerun this uh, later. But what this one creates, obviously, is on my desktop. When I run through this, I got an ISO file here uh, that I can use. Or I can take the boot with him and add to my Pixie server, WDS, iPixie, whatever you're using, and I can Pixie boot that recovery media that way. So if I go to a merge machine that I would like to reset the password on, let's see what I can find there that I can reset the password on. <laughs> Maybe see what this one here does. Well, that was a Windows 11 one. Let's borrow this one here. But this uh, is supposed to be media where I simply have forgot my, my password to the admin account. 
Uh, doesn't work, I don't have the password. So now I can mount this virtual machine on that ISO, which I copied over here. And then I simply restart this machine and I shall make sure I actually have so it can boot from a DVD rather than uh, the media here. So let me just restart this one. Start from the media. It should be mounted. Would I like to start network? Yeah, sure. Language. Uh, troubleshoot. Diagnostics recovery tool set. Windows 10, uh, locksmith in this case, and, and now I can go ahead and uh, provide a new password to this machine. And next, next finish, and I have a new password. The next time I boot, I will prompt it to generate a new password one again, but I have to use this one to gain access to the machine in the first place. So that's how this tool works. You install it on a different machine, you generate the media, you boot the machine that you need to recover on that media, and then it allows you to go in and, and specify a new password here. So, pretty useful. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the blog post, I'll put the link up in the chat here. And uh, that's pretty much it. Very, very useful tool. I saved my... I wouldn't say live, but <laughs> uh, it's very helpful over the years, uh, for sure. The trick is to install a tool on a working machine that actually can log into, not on the machine that you're trying to get the new password on. All right.